Hello there, and welcome to this episode of Just the Dis. Uh, today I am talking about a couple horror, sort of horror adjacent y movies. Uh, one from the fine folks at Blue Underground, and the other from Arrow Video. I'm going to start with the Blue Underground, and that is a fantastic new 4K of Larry Cohen's film, God Told Me To. Uh, as you can see there, um, beautiful set. I can't recall if this has alternate artwork. Yes, it does. Um, which I guess I will flip, actually. Uh, yeah, so God told me to. Uh, this is one I've been waiting for on 4K. They teased it a while back. I love that Blue Underground is doing stuff with uh, Larry Cohen's filmography and they you know have been for some time they've released this stuff on blu-ray and now we get a wonderful 4k of this film which i mean first and foremost looks stunning uh the colors are so vibrant the detail is so excellent in this film even for a low budget feature made in uh 1976 um on the streets of new york it looks just fantastic, and this should be no surprise because Blue Underground has been doing great 4Ks for a long time. I've talked about uh, many, if not all, of the 4Ks they've put out on this channel at one point or another, and this is just yet another absolute gem of a disc. They've just done a wonderful job with this. Uh, the film itself is really kind of an interesting one to watch in 2022. Uh, it is maybe a little tricky to watch in that sense, too, because it is incredibly prescient. But uh, it opens with a scene of a sniper on a water tower near 57th Street on the Lower East Side of New York. And he's sort of picking people off on the sidewalk. And it really jumps right into it. And it's interesting because it was done in that sort of classic Larry Cohen way where they just, you know, were filming people without permits. They were asking people to sort of jump into the air and fall on the ground and stuff to make it look like they'd been shot. And yeah, so it's, it's about a sort of thing that's running through New York where people are possessed and want to shoot people. And you know, that's, again, that's tricky in this time to watch a film like this, but it is uh, incredibly effective and haunting and powerful and well done by Larry Cohen and has an incredible cast, including Tony Lobianco, Deborah Raffin, Sandy Dennis, Sylvia Sidney, uh, Sam Levine. I'm trying. To, Richard Lynch is great in this. Um, it's Andy Kaufman plays one of the shooters in a famous um, parade scene. That's very interesting. Uh, but yeah, so it's like basically the uh, New York detective played by Tony Lobianco, who was actually the second actor to play this role in this film uh it was originally to be um uh it was originally to be somebody else and it was uh Robert Forster originally cast and they actually shot with Robert Forster but apparently he who, who would later become friends with Larry Cohen but there's a great story in the commentary track with uh Larry Cohen and Bill Lustig where he tells this tale of Forster being less than cooperative on the set. He had this idea about chewing gum. It was either something he did himself or he thought the character would do as this detective. And Larry Cohen didn't want that for the character. The character, not to spoil too much, but he sort of becomes a bit more than just a, a guy. And so Larry just didn't think chewing gum fit with the character. So he asked Robert Forster not to do that. And I guess he did for a little bit, but then he just kept doing it. And eventually it just became a thing where he's just like, you're fired. And he, <laughs> he had shot a couple days with him. And so they had to reshoot with Tony Lobianco. But uh, I think it worked out for the better. As much as I love Robert Forster, there's something about this film that Tony Lobianco really handles well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty remarkable film and pretty dark and scary to watch uh, these days. Uh, but like I said, the Blu-ray looks incredible and it comes with some wonderful features uh, that are being ported over, I believe. Uh, audio commentary number one, director Larry Cohen uh, and 
uh, Bill Lustig together talking. That's great. Uh, new audio commentary. This is cool. Actually, this one isn't ported over. This is brand new. Film historian uh, Steve Steve Mitchell and Troy Horworth on a commentary track. Very great track from the two of them. I love those two together. Troy Horworth is a, an all-time fave for me. Um, those are both on the 4K disc. Uh, as you would guess, you get a 4K and a Blu-ray in here. So on the Blu-ray disc, you get a few more things, though. You get uh, those two commentaries. Then you get uh, Heaven and Hell on Earth, an interview with uh, Tony LoBianco. That's an older interview. Bloody Good Times, interview with special effects artist Steve Neal. God Told Me to Bone, uh, New Beverly Q&A with Larry Cohen, uh, which is fun. Uh, Lincoln Center Q&A with Larry Cohen. Any Q&A with Larry Cohen is a good time, I think. Uh, so you get lots of Larry on this disc. And as I said... Uh, just an outstanding transfer. Kudos to Blue Underground for continuing to do such a good job with their stuff. Um, next up, I don't have a finished disc to talk about. I have a screener disc of the uh, Arrow Blu-ray of Hell High, which here's what the um, here's what the cover of this looks like. If you can see that. That's one of a couple covers. I think there's another one you can get from, or you used to be able to get from Diabolic DVD. Uh, and this film is fascinating. Fascinating slasher, but with caveats, I would say. Um, it has an introduction on here from uh, Mr. Um, Joe Bob Briggs. And I don't recommend watching the whole thing because he actually goes into, like, the killings. Uh, but up to the point where he starts talking about the killings and stuff, like, he gives a nice intro because he talks about how the film really uh, was for director, producer, writer Douglas Grossman and co-writer Leo Evans, at least for Grossman, like a one-and-done situation. They are doing a horror film uh, of this type, slashery type, late in the cycle and thus really didn't uh, connect with audiences, unfortunately, which is too bad. Uh, I will say, uh, and as part of something I've talked about on the channel before, I love that arrow continues to dig out these, uh, you know, I think relatively obscure slasher or slasher adjacent films, uh, things like deadly games and, you know, um, prey and all that. They just keep digging these out, and I, I really kind of dig that because I am a guy who's seen a lot of slashers, and I like to think that I've seen everything that's of interest, but they keep pulling stuff out. And this one, as Bill Joe Bob says, it's like a movie that sets up certain things, and then you kind of go, I know where this is going, and then you really don't know where this is going because it is just it's just got this really low key WTF type thing about it. Um, and it's, it stays kind of grounded, but a little weird up until the last 30 minutes. And then it goes totally off the rails. Um, but it opens with like this scene of this little girl playing in the shack in the swamp. And she accidentally causes the death of a motorcycle guy and his girlfriend, I guess. And then the swamp becomes this place of legend. We see 18 years later, we're at a high school and there's a class clown type harassing a biology teacher. We don't know where that's going. And then there's a kid who's a football player who's just quit the football team, which you don't usually see in these movies. He's not usually uh, that kind of character. Usually it's a guy who's a football player, is a jock. And so this football player's quit the football team and he sort of gets in with this group of rejects led by the class clown guy. Uh, and then they decide to play a prank. And I'm not going to say too much more than that. I mean, you know, the prank's not necessarily going to go as they want it to go, but where it goes is totally unexpected. And I, I couldn't say I could see what, what was coming really. I mean, not, not in a way that I could honestly predict. There's also a great scene on a football field that I've never seen anything like and I don't mean to build it up like it's some great scene but it but it was interesting it was a thing where I was like what are they doing with this scene wow that didn't also go the way I thought so I do have to agree with Joe Bob's assertion that this film is really different in that way and like I said it's low-key kind of bonkers like 
it's not I think it'd be fun to see with a crowd because there are some moments where the characters are talking to themselves that I think play very interestingly um but yeah it's it's a really interesting the slashing elements if you will come at the very end of the film towards the last 20 minutes so it's not that slasher vibe in the traditional sense uh but you know you could you could call it slasher adjacent uh, in terms of features, it has a brand new commentary with director, producer, writer, Douglas Grossman, and cinematographer Stephen Fireberg. Archival audio, audio commentary with director Douglas Grossman. Lots of This is a stacked disc. Um, schools out a newly filmed interview with director, producer, co-writer Douglas Grossman. So you get to hear a lot of what he has to say about the film and, and what his thoughts were about how he came to make it. That inter- introduction by Joe Bob Briggs, which is an archival... Uh, uh, let's see here. You get a beautiful nightmare, a newly filmed interview with s- cinematographer Steven Fireberg. Uh, John John's Journey, a new- newly filmed interview with actor Christopher Cousins. The More the Better, a newly filmed interview with actress Maureen Mooney. Uh, Music is Not Sound, a newly filmed interview with composers Richard McCarr and Christopher Hyams Hart. And Back to Schools, The Locations of Hell High, a tour of the original Hell High filming sites with author filmmaker Michael Gingold. And some more archival interviews with director, producer Douglas Grossman and co-writer Leo Evans. Deleted scenes, alternate opening titles, trailers, TV spots. It's stacked. Like, Arrow really does a nice job with these. And that's the other reason I like that they keep bringing out these slashers is they continue to do uh, a good job in sort of giving a context and really presenting them in the best possible way. So uh, I do recommend this one. I may have to pick up an actual disc of this myself because I... I just want to kind of keep collecting these slashers. And uh, I found this one pretty fascinating. Like I said, weird stuff. Uh, one that I think I'll like better on a second viewing because the first viewing I was just kind of looking at it with side eye going, I don't know what you are doing, movie. I have no clue. Uh, let's keep going, I guess. Um, but yeah, fascinating stuff. I hadn't seen it before. I'm sure a lot of you have. It's notorious, I'm sure, to some. But a new watch for me uh, and an intriguing one at that. So that is Hell High from Arrow Video. Uh, but definitely uh, highly recommended is The God Told Me To 4K. An absolute must. Uh, beautiful, beautiful disc. Uh, kudos again to Blue Underground. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.